What's up guys, Black Rose Duelist here with a new deck discussion. We have the new Cosmo deck. Uh, for the last few months, Konami has been hinting about a new archetype about an American fairy tale. And Cosmo Oz is in Cosmo. So we're pretty sure it's Wizard of Oz. And judging by the two new cards we've seen of it, it, it kind of looks like a Cosmo or a Wizard of Oz mixed with a Star Wars or just like Wizard of Oz in space. Uh, if we look at the monster just revealed, it kind of looks like she's holding a lightsaber. Let me zoom in. Um, that looks like a lightsaber. Don't try to deny it. Um, so it's either Star Wars or um, with. Wizard of Oz, or just Wizard of Oz in space, but we're not really sure if yet, we'll see when more stuff is revealed. But anyways, for the effects, the first card we got, Konami's introduction, A New Journey Begins, in the year 1900 of the Imperial Galactic Calendar. Uh, by the way, both Wizard of Oz and Star Wars came out in the 1900s. Uh, an unlikely band of friends will join together for a wonderful and often terrifying space adventure. That could be Star Wars and it could be Wizard of Oz. We have like Han Solo, Luke, and all those going in space, but we also have um, What's-Her-Face with Tanan and the Lion and all those guys going for an adventure. So, it could be either. I'm thinking it's Wizard of Oz in space, not Star Wars, because Star Wars isn't a fairy tale, but it could be a crossover. Who knows? Anyway, the effect. Once it's a field spell, Cosmo Town. Once you return, you can target one of your banished Cosmo monsters. Return to the hand, and if you do, lose life points equal to the original level times 100. So I'm thinking they're gonna banish each other or get banished. So you can add them back to your hand and lose probably not a ton of life points. Once a turn, you can reveal any number of Cosmo monsters in your hand and shuffle them back into the deck. Then draw cards equal to the amount of cards you shuffled in the t into the deck. So it's kind of like a magical mallet. They can do more than once, uh, once per turn. Uh, so say you have like a Cosmo, two Cosmo cards you don't like in your hand, just shuffle them back and draw two. Seems legit. Um, if this card on the field is destroyed by a card effect, you can add one Cosmo card from your deck to your hand. Uh, I can add any of the other Cosmo monsters or. Um, you can add itself too, because it's Cosmo card, not Cosmo monster. So, uh, you can add itself. So, another card that just. I wanted to wake I felt more support coming soon, and it did. Um, we have Cosmo Good Witch. Um, the description here is In orbit, high above the desert plain, a proud warrior eludes the force of wickedness. So, obviously, uh, Wicked Witch of the West, or whatever, from that, uh, Wizard of Oz movie. I don't know why my face cam is lagging, but just ignore it. Um, so, it, it's... Now looking at this card, I didn't read any of this before the video. It's pretty clear to say it is Wizard of Oz. Maybe combined with Star Wars, maybe just in space. But that does look like a lightsaber. And it kind of looks like the wings to the T-wing thing. I forgot what it's called. But in Star Wars, it's that one shooter thing. Anyways, Cosmo Good Witch. Level 4, light. So I'm assuming they're all going to be light. Psychic effect. I'm um, not sure if they're all going to be psychic. It looks like a warrior or be a spell cast before that even. Because uh, it's Good Witch, but it's holding a sword, so I don't know why it's psychic. 1800 attack, 1000 defense. During either player's turn, you can banish this card. Special summon one level 5 or higher Cosmo Monster from your hand. Okay, so say you just banish this from your graveyard. Oh wait, it, it doesn't say where you can banish it, so I'm assuming it's from your field. Um, so you normal summon it, banish it, special summon a Cosmo that's level 5 or higher, which I'm assuming be like the lion would be. Um, and then you can add it back to your hand with your field spell. Um, you can only use the effect, this effect of Cosmo, oh, it's Cosmo, okay yeah, Cosmo, Good Witch, once per turn. Once per turn, you can pay 900 life points, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. 
change it to face down position. Maybe they're going to have some face down effects. I don't know. But it seems like it might be something. I don't know why you'd want to pay 900. It seems like a lot of their deal is paying, not paying life points. Which, maybe that's why they're psychic, so you can use the psychic cards with that. Maybe they'll have some cards where you gain life points, or it reverses the damage into gaining life points. I don't know. But the deck looks pretty cool so far. I expect the lion, the tin man, and all the... Dorothy, that's the girl's name. Maybe Tutato, Tito, the dog. Maybe he'll be in there. But who knows? I think the deck looks pretty cool. Not really sure what the theme is. We do know that it revolves around some banishing, some pain of life points, maybe flipping things. So who knows? Tell me what you think about this new Space slash Wizard of Oz deck in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later.